Welcome to the uh, Balls in Your Court podcast. I'm Kevin Carter. Cortez is actually at work right now, and the reason I'm doing this is because we actually have a special guest with us from uh, the University of Florida. Y'all remember him? He's one of the members of a class that has won the most basketball games as a class in Florida history. He played center, even though everybody said he was a point, or he was a power forward and everything like that. No, the man played center. We have from Jacksonville, Big Patrick Young. How you doing, Pat? Doing well, well. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, it's good to have you on, man. Like I said, you were a part of the University of Florida's winningest class ever. You beat Noah. You got you got past all of them because all of you guys stayed your all four years in school, so y'all kept racking up the wins. Yeah, yeah, we uh, we were a, such a tight knit group came in together, and we actually lost one. We lost Cody Larson, and uh, yep. you know it, it was so tough doing it without him because we he was just so you know that first our first year together we spent so much time together, and as we uh, got older older and developed that bond just kept getting stronger. You know it was hard for me to you know make that decision to, to go to the NBA to leave those guys because you know it's not guaranteed that we we would ever play together yep. again. And have such a good, you know, ever get a chance to go to a final four or play for Coach Donovan. So we were just living in the moment, and it, it turned out to be a great four years for us. Yeah, and, and we we were all worried there for a minute that after your junior year you was going to go. And it, I was like, I was like, Pat ain't going nowhere. He he he's going to stay for his four years. He'll stay. He'll he'll handle everything. Trust me. And then when you made the announcement, we were all like, Shoo! Okay, we <laughs> got that one. <laughs> But yeah, as a Gator, speaking as a Gator fan, it was a pleasure watching y'all grow from your freshman year all the way up until your senior year. And uh, you already hit on Billy. Uh, what was your thoughts of uh, a Billy Donovan just as a coach? And what was your thoughts of his uh, his first year now that he's in the NBA? Well, of course, it was tough for me to see him go because uh, you know he was such a great role model to me as a, as a man and a player. Uh, he helped me so much prepare to be a professional, uh, you know, on the level that I am now dealing with different types of adversity and, uh, you know, maybe not having, not maybe if you don't have a good relationship with the coach that, you know, I can appreciate more how great my relationship with him was. But him making that, making that jump, it was such a great opportunity for him. And he, he had such a great year. You know, I, I've been able to keep in touch with him every now and then. I hope I can uh, see him sometime this summer. But he, you know, he told me it was a learning curve because, uh, you know, he was dealing, had, had to deal with two of the best, uh, two great superstars on his team mm-hmm. this year, and uh, being able to control them and get them to play together and play as a team. But I'm extremely happy for him. I hope he, you know, I know he's going to bring success to the next level. He was, you know, that close to yeah. up- upsetting Golden State and also, uh, you know, being in the finals right now. So I think that's a really great start for him, and I can't wait to see what he holds. Yeah, we talked about it. Uh, we talked about it before on the podcast. Of course, we're huge Billy Donovan fans, and I want him to succeed wherever he went. We just all found it funny that he went from one team that wore orange and blue to another uh, yeah. team, another team that wore orange and blue. So he really didn't have to change his wardrobe up a lot, a lot. But that, but his handling, his handling of he Kevin Durant. Take the jacket off though. He doesn't get to take the jacket off. Yeah, though. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we don't get to see that sweat come out like we did at Florida when he was on the sideline. <laughs> but yeah, the the handling he did of of Westbrook and Durant and those those well, like every egos, if you want to say, the way he handled the way he handled those two and the way he was able to get that whole team. And I look at the San Antonio series as a perfect example. The way he handled everything in that San Antonio series, the adjustments he made and everything. He showed in that series that he belongs in the NBA as a head coach. Yeah, I mean, it was it was really tough for me watching that series because I don't know if everyone knows, but I grew up a Spurs fan. <laughs> uh, I hated the Lakers, still hate them. <laughs> when uh, Derek Fisher hit that shot with 0.4 seconds <laughs> left, he beat my Spurs. Oh, man, I was – from that point, my, my hatred for the, for the Lakers was just – like it was lifetime. <laughs> and, uh, you know, him – him going against them and being able to upset my Spurs, it was tough. I was like, I was like, go Coach Donovan in the Thunder, go the Spurs. At the same time. <laughs> Don't know who I really want to win. 
Oh, man, that's not too for me. And I'm looking back at it, I'm glad they were able to come out with the top. Spurs, they want to know. Yeah, that, that, that's true. Uh, I'm a Heat fan myself, so I have been ever since. Like, I, I was born and raised in Jacksonville. And then when okay. we and when we when we got the team uh, when the team started getting divvied out, well Miami was first, and then Orlando came the year following. I was like, well Miami's first, so I'm I'm we have a team in Florida. I'm going to follow them. Lucky for me, yeah. I picked Miami and not Orlando, so I, yeah. I've had yeah. a little bit yeah. more success. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been struggling lately. Yeah, I, I, I've gotten lucky and had a little bit more success than my buddy does. He's a huge Magic fan. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. He's a huge Magic fan, so I get I get that over him a little bit. <laughs> but uh, but uh, was you uh you were uh you were you from Jacksonville? Yes, and born and raised in Jacksonville. Yes, sir. I went, went to uh, Paxton School for Advanced Studies for three years, and then uh, went to Providence my senior year. Yeah, I remember. Uh, I got the uh, I got the privilege of going watching you a. Uh, a couple of times when you were at Providence, it was uh, it was weird just seeing you out there uh, because if if everybody don't listen and knows Pat Patrick's a big dude, and when I say a big dude in high school, he was a big dude. And when I, I, when I went when I went to Providence and watched him a couple of times, it was it, you could tell the difference. You were just to say bigger than everybody else by a lot is an understatement. <laughs> Right. And it, it was it was it was fun getting you watch up and and especially with you being from Jacksonville, I got to follow you as you went from high school to college and now doing your pro thing. It, it, it's yeah. been it's been it's been real fun to get to enjoy the ride with you, even though this is the first time I've ever got the chance to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it was, it's been fun. You know, I can just remember uh, barely being able to dunk back in. Uh, Ninth, tenth grade, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't dunk with two hands, <laughs> and uh, you know, being excited that I was finally able to reach 230 pounds uh, my senior year and winning the state championship, and then going off to Florida for four years, and then the realization of being a pro, and uh, you know, it's 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 just been a heck of a journey, you know, experiencing my first. Each year has been special. Uh, it's, it's it's had its own rewards and challenges. You know, this year dealing with this ACL. Yeah. Uh, it's been tough, but I've learned so much as a player that I can't wait to see what's going to happen in the future. And you've got, uh, and during your college and career and everything, and even during your uh, pro career, I think uh, the Pelicans did come and play in Jacksonville during a preseason game where you actually got to come back home and play. Yes, that was, that was awesome. Um, I had, believe it or not, I had about 18 or 19 tickets. <laughs> In front, maybe maybe a little bit more than that actually for that and uh that was crazy uh getting to play in front of my home court in my my home my hometown uh you know I didn't play that much but still it was it was special I do I do remember your uh your senior year though you had the uh the game against JU y'all played at the Coliseum and it oh, was wow. and it was and it was packed and we, yeah, that, we, we were lucky enough to go to that one as well and got to watch y'all. Uh, I think that was the game Scotty actually came back for his first game and lit up JU for like 20-something points. <laughs> that's, that sounds about right. I, can't, I just remember from that game, uh, I, I was a little frustrated with something. Uh, and going and going to the next play, uh, I got it. I got it in the, in the in the post, and I just did a, a hard baseline spin and just dunked the ball so hard. <laughs> I remember that like that, uh, like it was yesterday. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a very fun game, and I remember uh, I had my son with me. And we were trying to run over to the side and get all y'all's autographs and everything because me and him, it, it's fun to be able to enjoy it with my son. He's six now, so we get to I take him to everything I can go to, and right. yeah. we, we enjoy it. We enjoy it, and we tried to run over there, but you were getting mobbed by like four hundred people that were there to come and see you and everything like that. Which, hey, you from here? You gonna get that? So let me uh, tell you. Let me tell you something real quick. What I experienced as far as getting mobbed in college is absolutely nothing to what I've I have experienced in Europe. Really? Absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> so I'll tell you, my team. He's going nuts. 
won the Greek League Championship. Yep. First time that we won back, they won last year, so it's back to back. We, we beat our rivals on a uh, game game winner shot on the road. First time we've ever won it on the road mm-hmm. as well. So we're um, we're coming back to the arena, and we're on our bus, team bus. It's like 30, 30 minutes away uh, to get back to our arena. Somehow the fans find us on the highway. Scooters, <laughs> cars, they're lighting up flares. They're getting their scooters in front of the bus and stopped us on the highway. Uh, so <laughs> they literally stopped our bus in the middle of the highway and caused traffic. They had the Olympiacos flags everywhere, like, like screaming, one pictures. We finally get to the arena, and we, we bust open the roof of the bus, and we're all standing on top of the roof, <laughs> uh, you know, screaming with the fans, doing the chants and all that stuff. And but then it becomes the time for us to get off the bus. And uh, maybe it's 50 yards from where the bus stopped to get finally get inside the arena. Uh-huh. I think there was about 20,000 people waiting around outside of our arena waiting for us. Wow. Crazy. Insane. I'll never experience something like this again. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. So, <laughs> um, so it's time for us to get off the bus and run, and run to, the, to the arena. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not? I was drenched in sweat. None of it was mine. <laughs> <laughs> Grabbing your neck, slapping you, kissing you, slapping your back, trying to give you high fives. I actually have a video of it. I, I carried my GoPro through oh, the whole thing. Uh-huh. And like, <laughs> through the whole thing, I dropped my GoPro. I, fi- I find it. I pick it back up. I keep going. Yeah, that was a... Uh, uh, humbling to, to say the least. <laughs> they, uh, people always say Ameri- Americans are really some of the most passionate sports fans you can ever see, but I've seen some soccer games and stuff. The oh, people yeah. overseas are crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just would say Greece, Greece probably has some of the rowdiest fans, most passionate fans in all of Europe. I was in Turkey last year, and it, it, it was intense there as well, but it, it, it wasn't like how it is in Greece, especially against with the two the two rival teams, uh, Olympiacos and Panathinaikos. It's and Nick Lavis actually is playing for uh, Panathinaikos. Yeah, yeah, teams. yeah. So it's, fun, it's fun joshing around with him. You know, I was on the sideline. Uh, you know, I'm yelling at him a few times here and there while he's while he's uh, while he's going against us. Be like Nick, miss, Nick, Nick you can't do. <laughs> he he made it. He's looking at me like. <laughs> 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 that that that's good though. Uh, I'm glad you're getting it. Uh, I, I'm glad you're enjoying the experience overseas. Right now, everybody may not know that you're over there. Actually, right now, over <laughs> overseas and everything, and actually joining yeah. us at ten o'clock at night over there. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm in I'm in uh, Lithuania right now. It's funny. Uh, <laughs> I, I was I watched my team win the championship. I came here to watch my buddy right here. <laughs> And uh, they won a championship, so I got to hold two, two championship trophies in, uh, in within a few days. And I'm actually going to go to Barcelona uh, uh, probably Friday to go because I played with Carlos Arroyo yep. last year, and they're in the finals. So maybe I can see three, three, three trophies uh, within a few a few days. So that'd be that'd be pretty cool. Oh, well, Carlos Arroyo still kicking. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, he's still he's still doing his thing. That was one. That was one dude. Uh, I still remember my first really seeing Carlos was when he played for Puerto Rico, and they played uh, they played one of the uh, the USA teams, and he went and started lighting them up. And I'm like, who's that guy, and why is he not playing on somebody's team right now? That, that dude can go. He still can go. I'll tell you, he's if 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 Scotty could have passed a little bit more. Like-